Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a rotary switch interact with MobiFlight. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. For this build you will need an Arduino Mega 2560, a rotary switch of your choice, and a jumper wire for every position of your switch plus one. A rotary switch almost always has pins like this on the bottom. Typically there's one pin on the outside for each position of the switch. And then one terminal in the middle for the commons. Then sometimes they repeat it on the other side. This would be a five position switch. When you're wiring this to the Arduino, you want these to be the input pins. And then this one to be the ground pin. The con. You can simply plug these jumper wires with one to every terminal. Then you can have one jumper wire go to this pin right here, the ground pin. Now you can wire these pins into the Arduino here. We are going to use pins 2 through 6. Now the common pin just goes to ground. Now that we're done with the wiring we can move over to MobiFlight. So now we are in MobiFlight and we can go to Extras, Settings, and then into the MobiFlight Modules tab. Click your Arduino Mega and then add five devices. Each of them are going to be buttons. So that's five, and then upload them. Okay, so now you can exit and go into the inputs tab, and then make your five positions, or how many you have in a switch. So now you can go into the Edit tab, select your Arduino Mega, and your device. So we're going to use button 1, and then we'll start using Event IDs. So with the Event ID, you just scroll down until you find yours. Ours is Magneto Off, so right here. And then click Use, and it fills in, and then press OK. So now this, the first position, is set to off. Now we do the same thing, but with button 2. And, and set it to Magneto Right. Click Use, and OK. So you're going to want to do the same thing with the third switch position, except for this time, I'm going to show you another way to do it, with FSUIPC offsets. So if we go to Project Magenta FSUIPC Offsets, I'll leave a link in the below. Uh, you can control F and find Starter, and the first result is Engine 1 Starter Position. We already did these two, and we need these three. So copy the offset code 0892 and paste it into Offset. The size in bytes is 2, and then you can set a value to 2 for left. Now I can do the same thing, but instead, this time we're going to use, set the value to 3. And now we're going to set the value to 4. So now we can click active for all of these and then click run. Now when we enter flight simulator, the switch position should correlate to the switch position on the screen. And it does. 
FSX doesn't illustrate a start position, but you can tell that it does start. Yeah, so start, and then off. So you're gonna have to design a spring to spring to both mechanism. So now that you know how to make a five position switch, you can head over to some of my other videos, like how to make a whiskey compass and a switch panel. See you in the next video and have a fantabulous day.